I will show you how to convert HUNET data file into a DBF. HUNET data file by default is indeed a DBF file. But uh, through HUNET applications, HUNET we add the extension. For example here, this is a HUNET file, April 2014.mkb. This is a HUNET data file. And this is another HUNET file, labmyas.mkb. And this is the lab configuration file. And this one is the data file. So both has the .mkb extension here. Okay. Uh, the .mkb here is the three-letter code used in the lab configurations. But in window, usually in the uh, default setting of windows, the extension of known file, for example here, you can see this is a DBF files. And also uh, here another example is a Microsoft Word documents. Window we hide the extension if window recognize the file. Or in other words, if the file can be opened by double clicking and it's open within the known applications, then the extension we will, will not be visible. But if window does not recognize that file, for example here, the Hunet data file then it will show the extension .mdkb there okay, for Makmal Kesihatan Awam Kota Baru. So in this case, what I normally do, I would like uh, to have the extension of all these five visibles. One way to do that, we set this uh, from these open here the control panels, open control panels and look at for the folder option here, folder options and from the folder options click this uh, view tabs and from here as you can see it hide extension for known file types so just unclick this and then op apply or just click ok here, ok we get this close and what we can see here, all the extension of this file now available. For example, here the word document file dot docx and uh, dbf dot dbf. So when we have these extensions, it's now become very easy to convert Hunet data file. Just rename this. For example, we want to change this April 2014 into dbf. Just right click and then rename. Name the file. If you want to link and uh, to access database, for example, okay, just name it not more than eight character and just change this extension to DBF. Okay. Window we complain here that uh, saying that it does not recognize the file extensions and the file might become unusable. Don't worry about it. Just confirm the changes. OK. And you, you, as you can see here, now this file is recognized as a DBF file. And it can be opened uh, using HUNET applications and also using DBF. And it can be linked. Uh, to access or using the application I showed you in the previous video clips.